Hey, it's uh, Monsignor Ken, uh, just checking in. I just wanted to say hello to you during these challenging times. Uh, I just want to let you know that uh, myself, all the clergy, the staff, we're doing okay. Appreciate so many uh, good wishes and prayers, and we also know we're praying for all of you too. Uh, praying especially for those on the front lines. I think of all those who are healthcare professionals, uh, God keep them safe. I worry about all of our parishioners who are homebound, uh, those in nursing homes and hospitals that can't get their regular visits. So just let you know we're praying for them in a special way. Also, so many people working hard, you know, scientists and uh, researchers. And may God bless them and uh, come up with good stuff to get us uh, through this. So, so we pray for one another, and, and indeed we'll get through this. Um, our bulletin is online, uh, so please check that out. And along with that, uh, my letter each week, uh, my thoughts. Uh, so please check that, that out, too. But I thought of how interesting. I've been so encouraged, uh, so saying private Mass each and every day and doing my Liturgy of the Hours, but uh, it's amazing how appropriate all of the readings are. But I just wanted to do the first reading from Mass yesterday, and I thought it was so appropriate and just leave you with this, this thought. Uh, and this is from the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, Lo, I am about to create new heavens and a new earth. The things of the past shall not be remembered or come to mind. Instead, there shall always be rejoicing and happiness in what I create. For I create Jerusalem to be a joy, and his people to be a delight. I will rejoice in Jerusalem and exult in my people. No longer shall the sound of weeping be heard there, or the sound of crying. No longer shall there be in it an infant who lives but a few days, or an old man who does not round out his full lifetime. He dies a mere youth who reaches but a hundred years, and he who falls of a hundred shall be thought accursed. They shall live in the houses they build and eat the fruit of the vineyards they plant. Indeed, uh, the Lord is with us, and we'll get through this. God bless. Hang in there. Thanks.